Blackfoot Indians. They were all young men. They weren't sure how they were supposed to conduct this battle. And so what happened was they were just facing each other, probably from about here to that building over there. And suddenly one of the Blackfoot warriors, he rode forward on his horse, and he rode right in front of the tree. And they were shooting at him with their bows and their arrows and their guns. But everybody missed. And that young Blackfoot warrior was riding like this, flat on the back of his horse, dodging from side to side like this. And he rode right in front of the trees, probably about as far away as that wall right there. He rode right in front of them, and then he rode back to the other side. And he was singing a song. And then when he got back there, all the Blackfoot warriors, they were yelling at the trees, taunting them and everything like that. And the Crees, they were very mad. All of a sudden, one of the Cree warriors, he rode out in front of the Blackfoot warriors, and he did exactly the same thing. And as he rode, he sang that song. And he, that song said, even though your white horse is powerful, he said, my horse is not scared. He said, I'll ride right in front of you, and I'll give a great yell. That's what he was saying when he did that. That's what we're here doing here today. Now the last part of that song, when I did the last part of that song, that came from an old warrior that was in the Second World War. He was a gunner with the tanks. Every time that he'd finished singing, he would always put that little part in there. And that was to represent the indomitable spirit that we have. So we're here in a good way. We're here not to make trouble for somebody, but we're here to look after ourselves. Nobody else is going to look after us. We have to have our own voice. We've got to speak up for ourselves and say what we want. Good thing today, nowadays, in the universities, we have many young people that are in the universities. Those young people are no longer taking the history lessons that are given to them. My son stood up in front of the whole class and he told his professor, it sounds like you're taking, it sounds like you have a fairy book there that you're telling us fairy tales. What you're telling us is not true. Said my mother and father are both well-known Indians. They have never said anything like that before. What you're telling us is fairy tales. For the first three months, all the white kids were mad at them. Afterwards, whenever that professor came in, he had to tell the truth. You can bullshit some of the people some of the time. You can fool most of the people most of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. <laughs> Tell them who else wants to sing. 